What's up guys, Coach Kane here, and in today's video I'm going to explain one of my favorite mitt work drills for improving a boxer's use of their peripheral vision, reaction time, punch selection, and understanding of the line of attack. I call the drill Hit It Where You See It, and it's intended to minimize a boxer's reliance on the mitt holder's verbal cues, and rather forces them to react based on other indicators the coach is presenting, such as range, footwork, orientation, positioning, and of course the motion of the mitt being shown. There are nine main ways that I'm going to show my boxer the mitt when I want them to throw. The first of which is the jab position. Assuming that I'm working from orthodox to orthodox, I'm going to present the jab position by showing my left mitt directly at the left side of my face. The tighter the better to help distinguish the position. I want it to be as close to the line of attack as possible while still being on the left side of my face. The second punch is the cross, and similarly to the jab, I'm going to hold my right mitt tightly to the side of my face. Here's where the drill starts to be unique in my opinion, because contrary to what you might think, I'm intending to catch a rear hand punch by showing the mitt far out to my left in this third position. The reason for this is twofold, the first being that because the target is so far on the left of the line of attack, that means that it's inherently closer to my boxer's rear hand, and therefore that punch should be the quickest route to the target. This creates a style of punch that I call an off the hip punch, meaning that it was thrown at an askew angle to the line of attack. These punches tend to prevent circling and lateral motion by cutting off the ring, all without having to adjust our stance. The second reason is that it greatly improves their use of their peripheral vision because the boxer has to keep constant eye contact with the mitt holder throughout the drill. All of the same is true for the fourth position, but again, because it's so far to the right of the line of attack, the correct punch for the drill is an off-the-hip jab. Our fifth position here on the chest is intended for a body jab or body cross, so long as I'm stationary when I present it but positions 6 and 7 are dependent on my footwork as the mitt holder. As you can see, when moving towards the left side of the line, I again have my boxer Caleb here shooting off the hip right hand. For position 7, I'm moving to the right of the line, and because of this, he knows to shoot the off the hip jab. Again, if I'm stationary, either the jab or the cross to the body are correct responses. The eighth position is distinguished by the mid again being on the chest, but instead of it being placed over the heart as with positions 5 through 7 using the lead hand, the mid is placed over the solar plexus using the rear hand, and is intended to catch a lead hook thrown with the palm down. The position can further be distinguished by the footwork being more of a shift and less of a circling or sidestep motion. The ninth and final position of the drill is with the mitt held on the spleen. The footwork is a diagonal step inward as if you were slipping a right cross and stepping to get around. And the punch I'm calling for is a shovel hook. So as you can see, there are no verbal instructions being given, and rather Caleb is using his peripheral vision, reaction time, and his knowledge of the line of attack to perceive where the targets lie in relation to it, and to choose the correct punches, and thus has an improved shot selection. By opting to throw off the hip punches, he'll find that he doesn't have to reposition his stance to continue landing as frequently as without. Because they tend to cut off the ring, and direct our opponents back towards our already existing line of attack. Off the hip punches tend to take less time and energy than establishing a new line via a footwork of sorts. And in my opinion, should be used wherever possible because of this. The cool thing is that this can build up to be quite fast and look as though you and your boxer are reading each other's minds. Especially since you can do things like present positions 1 and 2 together as a combo and have your boxer distinguish it by which hand came up first or by which hand is closer if they came up at the same exact time. The sky is the limit with this one. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys gave it a try, and if you do, post a video of it to Instagram and tag me at coach underscore carlton. Hashtag it, hit it where you see it, and let's get people trying this drill. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe with the bell on for future uploads. Peace guys.